Well, back up top. Part two. It's Mary's train station. Now I said back then, you're going to come in there between that train and that building. Because that building over there is now occupied. So why did they lease it out? What are they building here? So there goes two trains, that's the end of this video. <laughs> no. Now, if you're wondering, St Mary's train station is 47 kilometres, exactly, from central number one. And if you don't know how to read a signal, there it is there, 47 kilometres, 0.3 metres. So 47 kilometres is just back there. So this will be 46 and a half. Now can you see where the railway line's going to go through? So the three, look, it's got a wire thing around it. Well, does, doesn't that mean they're going to keep it? If they put a protection thing around it? The gravel there. So this is going to be interesting. This is the gap of the corridor you've got. You've got between the edge of that building there across there to put in two road trains. Well, I said way back in 1979 when I worked here, that was a railway line, that was a railway line, and that was a railway line. And there's the edge of the good shed. So there's one, two, three railway lines have already been there. Now, if you look way up the top, there's a double road being built. Now that comes right there at the top of Glossop Street. Let's have a look. Now can you see it? See, it's a road with a divider in the middle. You see what's going to happen? Buses are going to come in and buses are going to go out, but when they go out, they can turn left. The buses coming in, they can turn right. That's what's going to happen. It's not going to be right up there for cars, it's going to be for the buses. The buses will go back down here. And the light rail train, the metro line, will be underneath. That's what I'm guessing. But let's go look at the website. Now, if we look down there, we can see the whole sets of points that used to turn right up there and used to go out to Rope's Crossing. Well, it's not going to go out there because they've already announced on the TV and there's a video and it says... It says uh, it's going to go to St Mary's and on the diagram, it shows it coming in through here, right here in the middle. That's where it's going to come in, right there. They only need one railway line to come in. And there's plenty of room there. Even where that signal is. That signal is fine, because that's in line there with the power pole. They'll just run in there, around the, probably move that awning, because that's on railway ground. Just swing it in there, like they used to do at Riverstone, way back in 1976, until 1985. When they had the dock platform at the back of Riverstone. With the same idea. Okay, so the smashing point. Why don't they run the Sydney Metro back over to Scopewheels? Why don't they run it through there, go across over the tracks there, join on the old Ropes Creek line, and take over the old Ropes Creek line, and come around the Dunevitt Circuit, and do a U-turn around past the, cemetery, the uh, sewage works, and then continue down the side of St Mary's Road like they were supposed to back in 1886, which in Gladys Berry Jicklian said, Oh, we planned the railway line from Glenfield to um, whatever, and it was, she reckoned she planned it, wasn't it? The diagram was drawn up in 1886. I know, I've seen it. That was my office. That's what I used to do. Just use railway lines and undeveloped railway lines. 
And then it was supposed to go down the side of St Mary's Road, round the back of Bly Park, and come down the side of Ferry Road and have a wide set of forks and one turn left and go to Windsor, one turn right and go back to Mulgrave. So why aren't they doing it again? So again, between the Hawkesbury and the Nepean, across the Landilo area, we're getting screwed over again. Still no railway. So basically, they're doing this. They're building it from here, right round down there through Sydney, and they're going to roll it right back here and stop. And they're not going to meet the last joint. And it is very typical of all railway lines that they've been making. They built the railway line from Sydney right up there to Moree. They went across there over there to Inverell. And what happened? They never completed it. So eventually Inverell got unused back down to Moree. And it was supposed to go back over to Gyra. So what's happened to Gyra? It's now died. It's been closed down from Armadale. What's another one? It was supposed to go from Coonamundra down to uh, down to Batlow, then Batlow was supposed to join up there with Tumbarumba, and then Tumbarumba come back around there to Wagga. Now what's happened? The whole lot's closed down. There's no Coonamundra down to Batlow Gundagai, and there's no Tumbarumba back around to Wagga Wagga. It's been turned into a cycle track. What's another one that's about? They used to have uh, railway line Sydney to Tweet um, Casino to Mwoolamba. I used to catch a bloody thing. The, the uh, Inter, uh, Gold Coast Motor Rail Express. It's now being ripped up. Yes, people. Mwoolamba to uh, Crabs Creek, south of Mooball, is being ripped up. Well, as far as Mooball Railway Station, anyway, or Mooball Pub. Not bad mouth in the pub. And the other part they're now ripping up is part of Casino, and the other part they're going to rip up is near Lismore. They're all taking the 133, they're taking the $33 million donation uh, because they've all gone through the floods. So we know where the money's going to go. Can't tell me different. I know they're accountable. But who says they are? So this is another typical New South Wales government blunder. They're going to bring it in here to a dead end and leave nothing between here and Windsor. Again. So when you look at Windsor to Penrith, it's still going to be via black town like that. Right? There's still nothing going across the middle. Typical. Anyway, I'm going to go up here and have a chin made with other guys. Let's see what they say. Doesn't that look good with the shiny rails? Well, that's about it. That's where your metro train there is going to come in, and uh, good luck to us all. So, look, you see the big green grass corridor out there. See you later, Mr. Omanoid. Bye.